Right now, the BEST program is very subjective. If four people all monitored the same student, as he's going through the BEST test, you could get four different answers. But on the flip side of that, if we have a reliable way to detect a probable concussion or head trauma, I can feel a lot safer as a parent knowing that something can, can tell us very easily and quickly if he should be out, if he's, if he's had too many concussions. Yeah, uh, so an easier way basically to know if he's safe. The light bulb went on and we got the idea that we could take automotive airbag sensors and that measures the weight and the distribution of the weight extremely accurately to infinite numbers of decimal points and takes that data, runs it through a data acquisition system and then an algorithm and tells the uh, safety restraint system in a car what to do. Well, we can use a similar type of algorithm to derive the best test. It's the fact that we have airbag sensors. I mean, I spent my whole life in the auto industry. The fact that we're using life-saving devices for cars in this setting is just blows my mind. Eliminating the subjectivity was huge. So I came in and first saw this thing. The amount of data that's being collected by this equipment is far beyond the capacity of what we see in just the best. Central College is clearly in a leadership position in this particular kind of research uh, based on our experience because, you know, a lot of other institutions that we've gone to just don't want to hear from us. They aren't interested in participating, they aren't interested in opening the door to see what could be behind it and how uh, the circumstances can be improved. We figured it was going to take us two days to get through the 150 some odd kids. It was so well organized that we did it in about a half a day. It was fantastic. The biggest thing I would think would be uh, getting our students involved. Uh, I think the good thing about Central College is we get our students prepared after they graduate to work in the athletic training field or going to uh, physical therapy school or medical school. And I think by them doing some research and getting involved with this was probably the biggest thing. Yeah, I didn't even know I liked it, honestly. Um, but it's been something that I've really enjoyed. Um, I think research is kind of where things get changed. Um, it kind of starts with the research and then it trickles down um, eventually to what we do in the athletic training room. That amount of data, and when you look at it and see what it is, has caught the eye of orthopedic surgeons, it's caught the, uh, caught the eye of gerontologists, of a lot of other people where they can take the data that's just outside of BEST and say, we can use this. There's so much more that's available. I think it, it could be very useful um, for a lot of things. We just did an exercise physiology study where we compared um, fatigue and balance. And afterwards, we thought, dang, we could have used that, that device because we did best testing for that and we could have um, tested their balance with that instead. Our interest is in facilitating the ability to play these contact sports without excessive damage or harm. Central's definitely given me opportunities that um, I didn't even realize were available when I came in here as a freshman. Um, I've been able to study abroad and meet with professionals in the community and just um, better my horizons that way. And uh, it's been great.